But I really think that if you don't yet have big dreams and big goals and don't have this sense of you want to tap into whatever great potential you have and the amazing gifts and talents that you have, if you don't have that sense yet, I want to encourage you to develop it, to find it, to really ignite that sense in you of having a drive and ambition to become more, to do more, to serve more value in the world. Welcome to the first ever episode of Ask JJP, where you can ask me any questions you have about anything And I'll take them on, give you my thoughts, my perspective, how I view the situation in hopes that I can be a friend on your journey to help you think through the biggest challenges, obstacles, and to look at the opportunities in your life and find a way to break through the challenges into the opportunities, become the best version of yourself and create an amazing and extraordinary fun and fulfilling life. And in this episode, I'm taking on a question from someone that recently asked me, is ambition without humility toxic? Is ambition without humility toxic? And my first response was, listen, I think that anything, ambitious or not, anything without humility is dangerous. I truly believe that if we don't have the sense of humbleness in our heart to say that we don't have all the answers, that other people really have value to give, and that we're not the most important person in the world, if we don't have that sense in our heart and in who we are, it can get dangerous. It can get dangerous because you can go down this path of thinking, You've got all the answers and you don't need anyone's help and you don't need to be collaborative with people. And that's just a toxic, dangerous environment to be a part of when you've got leaders or people in a community who just think that they're the most important people in the world and they don't need to listen to other people's perspectives and they don't need to bring value or find value in the way other people view the world in the given situation. So my first comment is anything without humility is dangerous and certainly therefore Toxic. And I also think that there's an interesting dichotomy going on here because when someone's ambitious, which I truly am convinced that if you want to go after anything extraordinary in your life, first of all, that means you're ambitious. But I really think that if you don't yet have big dreams and big goals and don't have this sense of you want to tap into whatever great potential you have and the amazing gifts and talents that you have, if you don't have that sense yet, I want to encourage you to develop it, to find it to really ignite that sense in you of having a drive and ambition to become more, to do more, to serve more value in the world. I just am absolutely convinced that that's where a tremendous amount of sense of fulfillment and meaning and fun and excitement comes from. When we're on this mission to become the greatest version of ourself, to really experience the fullness of life, to come alive by doing work that matters, by having an ambition to do more, I think we can contribute more value in the world. I actually think to not have an ambition to become the best version of yourself, that is dangerous because it means you're not here to serve the greatest value possible for people. And I think it's dangerous for you because I think you will find incredible value in going after the next best version of yourself. And that, by definition, is being ambitious. So, you don't have to want to create a billion dollar company. You don't have to have want to have a million followers on social media. If you simply want to go to your next level as a human, that's a certain level of ambition. And so I really think it's important for all of us to have an ambition for something. An ambition to be an amazing parent. An ambition to be an amazing spouse or partner or significant other. An ambition to be great wherever we're planted right now with our work, with our job, with our role, in our career. To be great as a person in your community, to be great as a human on this planet. If you have that ambition, that is ambition enough for right now. That is a seed of possibility of who you can become. It's a sense of meaning that you're here to do something bigger and better with your life. And it's not just about building the biggest building, the biggest company, or having the most followers. It's about being your best. That, to me, is what ambition is. And that is why I believe it's important and vital for all of us to have an ambition for something. Now, the other side of that coin or the other piece of that question is about humility. And gosh, I think for most of us, if we look at some of the most ambitious people in the world that do have these massive visions and dreams of what they can accomplish and they're on that path, they're on that journey, they're doing amazing things. We look at them and we're inspired and we're motivated and we feel alive with possibilities and potential in our own life for what we're capable of just by looking at these people who are incredibly ambitious 
and doing big things. So there's a sense of aliveness and inspiration and motivation that we can get by looking at really, truly ambitious people. So most of us love to see ambitious people do amazing things. And when we look at ambitious people doing amazing things who lack a level of humility, how's that make you feel about those people? Typically, we don't like it. (laughs) Typically, we don't like the person that we can view as maybe on top of the mountain and doing amazing things. And yet they don't have a sense of humility enough to say, hey, I've been helped along my journey or, hey, I'm not the most important person here. And I really want to acknowledge some of these incredible people on my team or in my community or in my family. And they don't acknowledge the grace that they've experienced in their life. They don't acknowledge that they've been uplifted and inspired and encouraged and empowered by other people in their life. None of us want to see that. And therefore, at some point where the rubber meets the road, we'll see that the person that is ambitious without humility actually can't sustain that success. They won't use that ambition to its greatest value because they won't bring the right people into their life. They won't attract the right people into their life. In fact, they'll stop attracting anyone into their life at all because nobody wants to be around people who are ambitious and doing incredible things but aren't humble enough to say, I want your opinion. I want your perspective. I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this? And to turn back or to turn around or to look to the side and say, how can I help other people? How can I lower myself in a way that doesn't bring me down, but brings me to the place where I can help other people? And I think truly most of us are most inspired by the person that's ambitious and going after something incredible and is driven and motivated and inspired and has an incredible level level of humility and humbleness in who they are and what they do and how they approach the world and how they approach other people. I mean, we don't like to see the people that are doing incredible things and they won't take five seconds to stop and talk to a fan. Now, I totally get it. There's also the argument of like they're approached or bombarded by so many people all the time that they just can't live their life but that's like mega superstar status. But I'm just talking about the everyday person that maybe doesn't have 100 million followers on social media, but is doing some incredible things and they just won't acknowledge certain humans or certain people because they feel that they're above those people. And I really think there's a level of toxicity that happens there. Especially if that person's a leader of an organization or of a community or of a world or of a nation. We need to feel this sense of connectedness with another person in order to really feel like they can help us to be inspired. Like how many times have you followed someone on social media and you've just been incredibly inspired and empowered by who they are and their story and how they show up in the world and they're ambitious and you know they're driven and they're doing incredible things but then all of a sudden you hear a story about them not being humble. You hear a story about them lacking humility because they didn't acknowledge someone or or they talked so highly of themselves that it just sounded like gross almost that they weren't in this place of humility and humbleness as they're ambitious on their journey to become their best self. So my friend, my answer to the question of is ambition without humility toxic? The simple answer is yes. The longer answer is everything I've just said over the past few minutes. But I want to help you to stay encouraged and inspired because if you're watching this or listening to this right now, then you're clearly somebody who wants to take yourself and your life to the next level. And that is in fact why I wrote my book, Attract Your Potential. I truly want to help inspire and encourage and empower you on your journey to stay ambitious and yet at the same time stay humble in who you are in the core essence of your soul on this earth, on this planet, to be a person of service with the value and the gifts and the talents that you've been given to be able to use to do the work in the world to help other people. And so my hope is that you'll go after big dreams, big goals. You'll even think bigger than you're thinking today. You'll stay ambitious. You'll light that fire inside of you and you'll let it grow inside of you to keep going after incredible goals and an incredible vision for your life and stay humble in the meantime. And my friend, I want to help you to stay inspired and encouraged. So if that's the case, please subscribe to this right now. Listen to the more more of the messages that I share with you. And I'd love to be connected with you here. And if you've got any questions on this, please drop them in the comments below. I'd love to know your questions on this topic or any other questions that are coming up for you as an ambitious, driven person with a big and exciting vision in front of you. And I will do more episodes of Ask JJP where you ask me questions. I'll answer them to help you feel inspired, encouraged, and empowered on your journey to becoming your best self. 
My friend, whatever challenges and obstacles you might be going through right now, I hope and I pray and I ask you to just keep going because on the other side of the struggle and the challenge, you will find your next level and at your next level, you truly will inspire, encourage, and add incredible value into this world. So my friend, just keep going. You got this.